the world's largest real estate company spend a lot of money to build the most creative and innovative skyscrapers around. Here are the top 15 most incredible skyscraper designs. Number 15, Marina Bay Sands. As an architectural masterpiece, these three towers make up a single building known as the Marina Bay Sands, which became the most prominent feature of the Singapore skyline when it opened in 2010. Marina Bay Sands is an integrated resort, meaning it contains a hotel, a casino, numerous entertainment features, a rooftop sky park, boasting a 150-meter infinity pool. The sky park also has the world's largest public overhanging platform. The resort's hotel features more than 2,500 rooms, and the resort is complete with two floating crystal pavilions, an Apple store, and the world's largest Louis Vuitton store. Number 14, Patronus Towers. Located in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia, these twin towers make up a complex that's regarded as the tallest twin towers on the planet. The Patronus Towers, named after the Malaysian oil and gas company, were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. At over 1,400 feet tall, the Patronus Towers today are collectively the 17th and 18th tallest buildings. Towers boast 88 floors built out of reinforced concrete, and between the 41st and 42nd floors, the towers are connected by a two-story sky bridge. Its iconic glassy design is meant to be reflective of Islamic art. Number 13, Burj Khalifa. Located in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, the Burj Khalifa is the ultimate testament to how far architecture, engineering, and technology have come. Standing at 829.8 meters tall, the tallest building on the planet Earth is over half a mile high. The Burj Khalifa has reigned as the world's tallest building for over a decade and cost one and a half billion dollars to complete. The project to construct the Burj Khalifa came out of a government decision to increase the UAE's economic diversity outside of oil. And the Burj Khalifa has helped the country and city become well known internationally for being extremely wealthy and luxurious. Number 12, One World Trade Center. After the terror attacks that took place in New York City on September 11, 2001, the New York skyline was left without its tallest buildings. But when a successor to those buildings was completed and opened in 2014, along with an incredible 9-11 memorial, it provided New York City with a new culturally significant building. The One World Trade Center is the tallest building in the entire Western Hemisphere and stands at 1,776 feet tall, a height alluding to the year the Declaration of Independence was signed. The super tall skyscraper shares a name with the Northern Tower of the original World Trade Center, and it's the centerpiece of the World Trade Center complex. Although the building's official name is the One World Trade Center, it's colloquially referred to as Freedom Tower. It's 94 stories tall and designed with a contemporary modern appearance, and the project cost nearly $4 billion to build. Number 11, Shanghai Tower. As the tallest building in China, the world's most populated country, the Shanghai Tower is an architectural masterpiece located in Pudong District, Shanghai. Created by well-known design firm Ginsler and owned by the government of Shanghai, the building is one of the most impressive in the world. Shanghai Tower is a gigantic 128-story skyscraper that stands 632 meters tall. And with a height like that, guests need to be able to make it to their floor quickly. That's why the Shanghai Tower is equipped with one of the world's fastest elevators and has a top speed of 46 miles an hour. The building is designed to be energy efficient and is composed of nine divisions that focus on everything from office space to shopping areas to entertainment centers. The project began in 2008 and took around six years before it was completed in 2014. Number 10, Jeddah Tower. Previously known as Kingdom Tower after its home country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the renamed Jeddah Tower is a mega tall skyscraper that's planned to be a kilometer tall Found on the north side of the city of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, the tower was making good progress on its construction until early 2018, when it ran into issues with labor due to a series of mass arrests carried out by the Saudi's government. Jeddah Tower's design was created by a prominent architect, Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Like the Burj Khalifa, Jeddah Tower takes on the neo-futurism style of architecture and looks like something from Gotham City. 
the surrounding area of Jeddah Tower is being used for the development of the Jeddah Economic City, in which Jeddah Tower will be the centerpiece. The Jeddah Economic City will be a commercial and residential area encompassing two square miles. Number 9. Shanghai World Financial Center The Shanghai World Financial Center is an enormous building found in the Pudong District in the eastern Chinese city of Shanghai. Designed by the architecture firm Kohn Peterson Fox, the Shanghai World Financial Center has become one of the most prominent buildings in China and around the world. With its futuristic appearance and flashy shape, the skyscraper consists of office space, hotels, recreational areas, and shopping areas. Its hotel section alone consists of 174 rooms and is one of the tallest hotels in the world. The structure stands at nearly 500 meters tall and is among the tallest buildings in the world. Abbreviated as the SWFC, the building is often praised and studied by architects for its ingenious and breathtaking design. The building has won multiple architecture awards, including being named the best completed skyscraper of 2008. Along with the Jin Mao Tower and the Shanghai Tower, it makes up the first group of adjacent super-tall skyscrapers and helps make the Shanghai skyline one of the most modern in the world. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Taipei 101 Formerly known as the Taipei World Financial Center, Taipei 101 is an enormous and stunning skyscraper located in the Xinyi district of the Taiwanese capital. After its opening in 2004, Taipei 101 was known as the tallest building in the world until it was surpassed by the Burj Khalifa in 2009. Aside from its high-speed elevators, which can move nearly 40 miles an hour and carry guests 80 floors up in 30 seconds, the building is known for being a green building and having a platinum LEED certification. The building is designed to be extremely well at conserving energy. Its specially made windows will reduce external heat by 50%, and the building is able to meet 30 of its water needs using recycled water. As the tallest building in Taiwan, and with its highly unique design, Taipei 101 has become a symbol for the nation in media appearances worldwide. Number 7. Merdeka 118 these days, it seems that countries and cities are in global competition to take each other's spots on the lists of the world's tallest skyscrapers. And the city of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, even though it already has the Petronas Twin Towers on that list, seeks to add another one. The building has been under construction since 2014 and is well on its way to being completed in 2022. Known as Merdeka 118, this megatall skyscraper is 188 stories tall and stands almost 650 meters tall. If completed, Merdeka 118 will be the tallest building in Malaysia and the second tallest building on the planet, surpassed only by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Funded by the Malaysian government in an effort to push economic opportunity and growth, the gigantic building will have around 400,000 square meters of space that will be used for hotels, living spaces, and business offices. It will include recreation and entertainment facilities, as well as shopping areas. The highest floors will be used as an observation deck to view the cityscape. The design of the tower resembles a variety of diamond-shaped planes that are meant to symbolize the diversity of the Malaysian population, a country of numerous ethnic and cultural groups. Number 6. Burj Al Arab Known as the Burj Al Arab, Arabic for the Tower of the Arabs, this gorgeous hotel is an iconic building located in Dubai, a city known around the world for its lavish resorts and incredible wealth. The luxury hotel is operated by Jumeirah Hotel Group, and it's among the tallest hotels on the planet. Seated on a man-made island off the coast of the Jumeirah Beach, Burj Al Arab is a testament to human ingenuity and architecture. The building is connected to the city via a private bridge from the island. Its design is meant to mimic the sail of a ship and has earned it a number of nautical nicknames. The hotel boasts 56 floors and stands 320 meters tall. It was constructed between 1994 and 1999 at a cost of about 1 billion US dollars. Aside from being on its own private artificial island, the hotel has a number of luxury features, including a shuttle service that uses Rolls Royces and a helicopter. It also hosts six gourmet restaurants that offer beautiful city and ocean views. With a five-star hotel rating, many travelers have described the Burj Al Arab as the best hotel in the world. Number five. Burj Murabak Al Kabir. Madinat Al Harir, meaning Silk City in Arabic, is an ultra modern urban area in Kuwait. That's the location of the Burj Murabak Al Kabir. 
a megatall skyscraper that's the tallest building in the world. The only thing is that neither the city nor the skyscraper actually exists. They're both part of a massive urban development project proposed by the government of Kuwait. The building is expected to be completed around the year 2030 and would become the world's tallest building, surpassing the current tallest, the Burj Khalifa, by about 200 meters. The complex surrounding the tower would include a range of amenities and features, including a large nature reservation, business space, athletic areas, and many others related to entertainment, health, and education. According to the proposal, the full city surrounding the Megatall skyscraper would take 25 years to complete and would cost as much as $600 billion. The building is projected to stand 1,001 meters tall, a number meant to represent the Middle Eastern folktale connection known as the 1,001 Arabian Nights. It would have quite a few floors and could have a triple-decker elevator. In order to withstand the intense winds that occur at altitude, the building is also designed to have three interlocking sections that twist 45 degrees in order to keep the building stable. Number 4. Abraj al Bayit Tower At nearly 2,000 feet tall, the Abraj al Bayit Tower is the tallest building in the entire kingdom of Saudi Arabia and is one of the tallest buildings on Earth. Its name translates into English as Towers of the House. And what is that house exactly? It's Mecca, the location of Islam's most sacred site and the world's largest mosque. The Abraj al Bayit is a large complex composed of seven skyscrapers in the heart of Mecca. Because countless Muslims make a pilgrimage to Mecca every year as part of a sacred duty known as the Hajj, the government of Saudi Arabia decided to build the complex and its towers in an effort to modernize the city for an international market. The iconic clock tower, known officially as the Makkah Royal Clock Tower, is the tallest pillar of the Abraj al Bayit and boasts the largest clock face in the world. The cost of the complex totaled around 15 billion US dollars, making it the second most expensive building in history, surpassed only by the Great Mosque of Mecca, which lies just meters away from the clock tower and cost around 100 billion dollars to build. Number 3. The Space Needle with its highly unique shape and iconic place in the Seattle skyline, the Space Needle is a landmark of the Pacific Northwest that's visited by thousands of people every day. The Space Needle was originally built in the Seattle Center ahead of the 1962 World's Fair, which was attended by well over 2 million people. Once upon a time, it was the world's tallest structure on the west side of the Mississippi. With a height of over 600 feet tall, the Space Needle is a breathtaking sight to behold. The structure weighs almost 9,000 metric tons and was designed to stand up against 200 mile per hour winds and a 9.0 magnitude earthquake. Seeing how it's basically a giant metal needle shooting up into the sky, the building is also equipped with 25 lightning rods. If you ever take a trip to Seattle, the Space Needle is pretty much a must see. Many tourists head to the Space Needle immediately when they visit the northwestern city. The observation deck that stands 160 meters above the ground provides guests with unparalleled landscapes of downtown Seattle, nearby mountain ranges, and oceanic views. The design of the structure is actually the result of combining ideas from two different architects. Edward E. Carlson's design including a large balloon tethered to the ground, which inspired the gentle slope of the base, while John Graham's idea of a UFO inspired the observation deck. Fortunately, the resulting structure turned out to be Seattle's most iconic building. Number 2. The Shard The Shard is a gigantic 72-story skyscraper that dominates the skyline of London. Designed by renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano, the Shard is not only the tallest building in the entire United Kingdom, it's also the seventh tallest building in all of Europe, including Russia. With a height of over 300 meters, the Shard was once the tallest building in Europe before it was overtaken by new buildings in Moscow. Also known fittingly as the Shard of Glass for its crystalline shape and appearance, the building's construction began in 2009 and took three years to complete. Some months after its opening, the site revealed the view from the Shard, an unbelievable sky view that attracts tourists from all over the world. But if you ever wanted to stare at the world from hundreds of meters in the air while going to the bathroom, floor-to-ceiling windows allow you to do just that. The design of the Shard was inspired by a combination of the nearby railway lines, the spires in London depicted in 18th century paintings by Canaletto, and the masts of passing ships. The name of the Shard came from a criticism that its construction would be like a shard of glass driving through the heart of historic London. The building is built out of 11,000 glass panels that cover a surface area of more than 600,000 square feet. Still, looking at it today, it's hard to say that it doesn't add a sense of glamour to the London skyline. Number 1. 
the Empire State Building. Number one on this list has to go to the one and only Empire State Building, located in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. The 102-story tall skyscraper was built in 1930 and cost $41 million to build. That's the equivalent to over $560 million today. Considering the Empire State Building was built almost a century ago, it doesn't quite measure up to modern skyscrapers in terms of technology or heights. It's well on its way to falling off most lists of the world's tallest buildings, but before 1970, when the World Trade Center was first built, it was the world's tallest building. Still, the building is the most recognized part of New York City's skyline. Designed by an architectural firm called Shreve Lamb & Harmon, the building was named after the Empire State, a nickname for the state of New York. The skyscraper stands almost 1,500 feet tall, and its design wasn't taken lightly. The plans for the skyscraper were changed 15 times in order to guarantee that it would be the tallest building in the world. Impressively, the building only took a little over a year to build, having started construction in March of 1930 and opening to the public in May 1931. And while the building has brought incredible amounts of money in today, that wasn't always the case. The original owners of the Empire State Building didn't see any profits into the 1950s. Still, the Empire State Building is an American cultural icon. It's visited by countless people every year and has appeared in some of the most highly praised movies and TV shows. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.